Hey everybody, it is Zach here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode 4 of my Shattered Relics League content. Uh, at the end of episode 3, I did make it to tier 4 for Shattered Relics League, and that's what we're going to be knocking out at the beginning of episode 4 here, is just more tasks and kind of approaching tier 5. I brought up in the last episode that I would like to be getting some gauntlet runs done sooner than later, so we are also be trying to unlock Pryffindos, trying to unlock gauntlets. Uh, yeah, those are the goals on the table. Let's jump right into the gains. Uh, there we go. Monk's friend complete. The task. Uh, 16k woodcutting XP does take me from 47 to 49 still. Sweet. I got some runes to do a couple of things with. Nice. Two points for teleporting out. Oh, it's right there, son. Stealing from the bank, dude. Nice. God. 12-year-old me be so pumped with 25-year-old me right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Craft an emerald ring. 25 more points. Two more sages are now. Let's pull the trigger on attack. Thank you. I do accept. Back down to zero right now, but at least I got another skill. I'm trying to run away while he's doing his unlock thing. Forgot. Dope. Sweet. Three quest points. Vampire Slayer being a task. One more renown coming in hot. And 40 attack off the bat. Cool beans. Uh, now what? Did I put these on yet? I didn't, dude. GG's. Myth weapon, one renown. Addy weapon, two renown. Up to four at the moment. Alright, gonna start pushing the plow, get some Hosidious favor going. I will not be getting any farming XP while I do this, unfortunately, but it's really not that much farming XP we're missing out on, so I think I'll make it. Alright, we did knock out a crafting level. It's gonna be 5.2% favor. Also, we can move on to... Uh, doing a little bit of fertilizer and saltpeter. Really, the goal overall is to make my way uh, to the mess hall. There's a couple of tasks in the mess hall. 200 compost, please, and thank you. I'm not a huge fan of making fertilizer if I don't really have to spend a lot of time making fertilizer, but we're getting double favor. I could end up skipping all the favors by spending a bunch of points on a kingdom divided, and I probably will skip a couple of the different uh, Zaya favors that way, but for now, we are knocking out some host Sidious, so I'll get through this. There it is, dude. Golovanova top. Easty. Alright, ma'am. I found your cat. May I have a kitten? She hands over the kitten. Here are your death runes. Oh, I actually didn't plan on turning this kitten in for death runes. She's like, really? I thought all of them got turned into death runes. 56 cooking coming in hot. Nice. I'm actually going to be closer when I go to do... Posidious kitchen, that mess hall. I will, uh... Be close to 65, cooking for the pizzas there too, which is a nice task. Here we go, finally getting access to the City of Sophonim. This is where you can do Pyramid Plunder. Pyramid Plunder is actually a great training method for thieving in general, but there's a ton of tasks in Pyramid Plunder. Just for completing each room is a task, and then the final room, completing it like 50 and 100 times is also a task. So, this will be good for some League points. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be quick. One point there. Room 2 complete. Nice. Room 3 complete. 25 League points. 2 Renown. Nice. 25 more points. Another 2 Renown. Crushing. Ah! Oh, I failed that one, but it still... It still gave it to me. I thought I would have to come back through. We're good. Took the poison. Whatever. Another 25 points and 2 Renown. I'm just gonna bounce out of that. Up to 14 Renown. That was a nice... Splurge in Renown. Oh, yeah. What? There we go. Two renown, 25 points. Excuse me, what? I got 51 agility. Pretty much full agility level. Here's the certificate. Let's see if it gives double. Yes, there we go. 28 to 48. I figured it would, but yeah, I mean. Until I got to test it out. It was definitely 50-50. Turning in the 20 stews for the mess hall was actually kind of a pain because it had to be at least like 30% appreciation. Those are the bars that you see in the top left. They appreciate the pies, the pizza, and the stews. Just in general, you can't keep feeding the guys in the mess hall the same food. They appreciate different food every once in a while. And everybody was doing the mess hall, so it wasn't as easy to find a world where I could actually turn in the stews and they would count. Yes! 20 stews in the mess hall. Two are now another 25 league points. I got the necklace on me. Let's get out of here. Go to Catherby. And hold on while I'm here. The fragments. Do not need deeper pockets right now. What I do need. Dynadash, this is it. 
Yeah, I even just leveled it up. Level 2, 20% chance. Players will get an extra cooked food. The extras will be sent to the bank and provide no additional XP. So, technically, it's not that helpful right now, but, I mean, spare food. I Just for putting on the relic's not a big deal either. But, I really need the XP at the moment. Sitting at 63 cooking at the moment. I only need two more cooking levels to be able to make some pizzas here. And making pizzas, turning in the pizzas, I should say, is also going to be a league task. Friend of the house, Sosidious, just got up to 100% favor. Uh, it's a nice... Sage's Renown sneaking in there. A65 cooking coming in hot? Yes. Gonna now make those pineapple pizzas. Gumpy. God, he's got the... It's his smile, dude. His Gumpy smile. I want to be upset with you because I, I wanted to read what was in my chat and suddenly we're talking to you about your bling, but... Look at that smile, dude. Alright, alright. 50 league points and 3 Renown for the 20 pizzas is super nice. Uh, we're up to 22 right now. Let's go ahead and get that strength life. Give it to me. Strength, thank you. We have every combat skill, huh? Yeah, fully unlocked combat at this point. Sweet, I guess it's a pretty cool milestone. Yeah, baby! One quest point, two diamonds, two gold bars. Actually kind of nice. Uh, I don't really have access to those gold bars. I went and telekinetic grabbed one from the Varrock Bank before. Look at that XP for 110k for both. Attack and strength, dude. Damn. 50 strength. 53. Oh, excuse me. I can now wear granite malls. 53 attack. 750 total level. Actually, 787. But hit that 750 for 2 renown and 25 more points. Sweet. It's going to be so much easier to kill the Black Knight Titan now. For those who don't know, you have to do the finishing blow on the Black Knight Titan with... The Excalibur. It's, it's pretty obvious. Any quest guide you do is telling you to do that, and my dumbass decided to mess that up first try. Ah, oh, that's right. I was supposed to finish it with a fucking... Oh, and he goes to full. I was like, please only go to like 20%. Oh, you're not. How do we get in there? Are we good? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no. Don't make me Black Knight Titan again, right? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, he got it. Damn it. Does your iron heat is zero, though, so it doesn't yet. I hope tomorrow morning's chalky milk is fucking sour. I can't. How goes thy quest? I'm done, dude. Solid gains. Two quest points and so much XP. 52 prayer. I'm up to smite and 53 defense, dude. Nice. I did get the rest of the overheads. Nice, dude. We can go overhead fancy around here. Oh, and protect from melee was a task on its own. Two more renown. Let's go. <laughs> That's so nice. I love that shit. Kingworm, snape grass, and a lime. God damn, those are easy. Lime easy, snape grass easy. Kingworm, is that just digging it up, bro? One snape grass over here on the coast, right next to the guy. There they are. Kingworm. Lime, there we go, baby. I did wrap up this part of the quest. I got the Queen Secateurs. I have to turn in the Queen Secateurs still, but I haven't unlocked farming, and I'm about to get a bunch of farming XP for this quest. So first, we're gonna go get that skill. Hey! Sandwich Lady Top, there we go. A unique. A few more, we get another task. I'm at two uniques from beginners, cool. The fucking box. Only a unique in this one. Look at this... I've never gotten frog slippers before. I haven't opened like a ton of, of beginner clues, but bro, the troll rangers. Oh, no unique life. I don't think I had a steel plate body that I put on yet. <laughs> yeah, we take that though. I put on a piece of steel armor, so there's a task. Oh, I think this is only like my second easy clue here. Please uniques. Oh, not even a unique game of magic though, huh? Nice. New magic action. Purple sweets! Wait a minute! That's worthy of a task and might at least count towards unique. Nah. Still one out of 131. But, watch this. Eat one purple sweet. Woo! Five more league points and another Sage's Renown. We take those. Wanna head to Artie. Get some pickpocketing going. Hitting up even more thieving life. Anytime you see me buying things from a store or just using coins in general, uh, occasional pickpocketing. That's where all of my coins are coming from. 
At least he survived though, brother. Hey, just entering the guild was two points, I didn't even realize. Makes sense, but... I was lost. Getting some gloves, put them on. Another two points, sweet, up to 13 at the moment. Cast a blast spell, there we go. 25 more points, 25 league points, two more sages renown, feels good man. Doesn't need to be good, just wants you to alk something. Cast high level alchemy, two sages renown, 25 more points, up to 17, three more. Got him. Defeat one crocodile, done. I'll spend those 20 points now, real quick. 20 points to unlock farming, baby. GG's. A new skill. Here we go. This is a nice spread of XP, but I was not getting any of that farming if I didn't first go do some tasks and unlock farming. Look at the jump. It's going to be 37 farming, dude. I was at one. That's nice in total levels. 55 on attack. Got some mage XP close to 67. Nice, dude. 860 total because of that. That was such a nice jump. You could auto-unlock fairy rings. Uh, I do plan on spending a lot of points in the future on more quests, but at the moment, I'm not trying to spend them on quests, except for Song of the Elves kind of soon. So, we just went with actually manually unlocking fairy rings, getting them done, and now we can get some use out of them. Woo, combat fragment and a lantadime seed, baby. I have not had that many combat fragments. Let's go. What's in the fucking box? What is in the box? Slay and pay, bro. That's... My second slay and pay, the only time I got it was from the random combat fragment from getting tier 3, so... Actually got one under my own power. Task life. Five more points and one renown. Easty. I need iron bars to do animal magnetism. Uh, I'm using the iron bar spawn. This is like the slayer only area. It may not even be slayer only, but this is in the Brimhaven dungeon where you fight iron and steel dragons. There's a, a one iron bar spawn. The process for making your first unholy symbol is such a pain. And then eventually you get 91 Slayer, you start getting him as a drop from Cerberus. This is such a great item. There it is! Animal Magnetism complete. So, this 1000 Fletching XP I don't actually get any of. It's only the second XP drop that I've missed out on because of quest. I missed 200 Crafting XP, which would have been 1.6k crafting from Goblin Diplomacy. And then 1000 Fletching, this could have been 8k Fletching XP, but Fletching will be an easy skill to make up for. I need this backpack. 35 Slayer coming in hot. I can now kill wall beasts. 43 crafting coming in hot. 51 wood cutting. Sweet. Solid gains coming in hot. 869 total. Nice. Oh, looks like we got a hit points level coming in hot. 46 hit points. I am just trying to collect 25 bones to do Demon Slayer at the moment. GG's. Demon Slayer complete. Wait. Demon Slayer was 25 points and 2 renown. Are you serious? Oh, way overpriced. Uh, quick, while my prayer is on and draining, put it into range, baby, there we go. End of the quest, two points specifically for Shadow of the Storm. 49 range coming hot, oh, that got me closer than I thought. I'm only 4k XP from 50 and getting the next Avas. Oh, that could be real easy. My current Slayer task is Crawling Hands, I just ran over here to at least pump out 50 range quick. Yes. Ava's Accumulator, nice. Good upgrade for range. Let's just go to Canifus. So there's the end of the Crawling Hand task. In three more tasks, I would start to receive Slayer points. Uh, before I actually get to five Slayer tasks completed, they do make an update in the game where just completing the portion of interest, which gives you 30 Slayer points, actually counts for that League task. That's in the same update where all of these skills that you see me unlocking and whatnot are going to cost less points. As you can tell, the footage that you're watching is still from early on in Leagues. We're trying to catch up here. New task. 59 green dragons. You your fuck. In mine, where are baby green dragons? Brimhaven. Defeating a wall beast was a nice medium task. Honestly, uh, felt pretty easy for a medium task. Nice. That was a task just to get in here. There we go. Making history complete. Uh, 8k prayer and crafting XP is what that's going to turn into. 53 prayer coming hot, 44 crafting. I think just from 43, we're at 899. Boom. 51 strength coming in hot. 900 total. Looks a little better than 899. Yo, 60 wood cutting. Just entering the wood cutting guild is another 25 points. I mean, go back to the wall beast. I feel like getting to the point you can kill a wall beast is way easier than getting into the wood cutting guild. Same amount of league points. Nice, dude. Crushing. Five points, one renown. There's another five points over here. 
All right, another five league points and renown from that one. I can bounce out of here, but still being Relica, I'm gonna go KO a troll. Five league points, another renown. 71 thieving coming in hot. I guess I can bounce. It was nice hanging out with you, Cryptic. Now that you're here, I gotta go though. Jesus Christ, you scared me. Some spare points from completing room six for the first time. Another 50 league points and three sages renown. Very satisfying to get the three renown in one task. This is level three of the Chasm of Fire. But is it? How is this not level two? Enter level three of the Chasm of Fire. And I got that in the middle floor. Does it go up from here? See, there's just lessers here. It goes up from here if if you count this as level one being like outside. But that would, like the entire overworld is level one of the fucking Chasm of Fire then. So I eventually got over my confusion on the Chasm of Fire. Uh, the next place that I was headed to is the Sorceress's Garden. Uh, I am going to need beer glasses to be able to collect Skirk Juice at the Sorceress's Garden, so I decided to get a little bit of Molten Glass, make a handful of my own beer glasses, but also at the end of the Molten Glass, I knocked out a handful of Unpowered Orbs too to make sure that I got a decent amount of crafting XP. Uh, if I only did beer glasses, I wasn't going to quite reach the crafting milestone that I instead made it to. 50 crafting coming in hot. Ruby amulets. Let's go for it then. There it is. 25 points to renown for making the ruby amulet. Sweet. Uh, I could enchant that, couldn't I? Oops, I just attacked that fucking guy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Attack options unhidden, you fucking crackhead. Depends on combat level. Man's so scared right now. Man's so scared. I just put the fear of Dak into him. Amulet of Strength, sweet. This is going to start wrapping up episode 4, everybody. If you're looking for a spoiler on episode 5, be sure to stay tuned, as I will squeeze one of those in here. Uh, the pick of Winter Skirk is going to show us that we're at 2320 league points. I was about 1500 league points to start the episode. It was like 1515, so uh, 800 or so league points is not too bad of a gain compared to the last three episodes, but we still have plenty of gains to make, so I'm trying to knock out episode 5 ASAP. If you have been enjoying the series, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I am also streaming the vast majority of this content on Twitch, which is part of the reason I haven't really been able to edit a lot of the videos, as we are spending many days, many long nights just doing league League gains in general. Thank you very much for watching episode four of the Shattered Relics League gains, everybody, and I will see you in episode five. Here we go. 30 points to be allowed to go try Gauntlet.